everyone. So LinkedIn's new user interface is here. Well, it's here for some of us. It's not here for me, but it is here for my friend Kate Payne. So thank you very much, Kate, for giving me access to your new LinkedIn profile. Um, let's take a look at LinkedIn, a little bit of a side to side here, so you can see what's new on LinkedIn, uh, what's gone away on LinkedIn, what's better with the new LinkedIn user interface, and what's maybe not so hot. So <laughs> first of all, um, wow, LinkedIn changed colors, right? So it's been some form of blue, black, and white, and gray for um, at least nine years. Uh, they've moved to this dark teal color. Um, very interesting. Did you notice that Amazon also went light teal? So very interesting. Also my new uh, website, VivicaVonRosen.com. I just want to say I was going with the teals before LinkedIn or Amazon did that. I'm just saying. Anyway, I went with this new um, new teal color. The reason LinkedIn um, is giving for this new user interface is because it plays better um, and looks more like and is more aligned with the mobile app. And so the idea is when you're on your mobile app uh, and or when you bop over to LinkedIn, you're not going to get lost because the the icons and the descriptions of where you are in the mobile app and where you are on the LinkedIn browser are very similar. So it's now uh, me instead of profile. Um, it's now, well, my network has stayed the same and they've gotten rid of some features as well. So that's, that's the main uh, difference. Um, you'll notice too, there is no more advanced search. We're gonna talk about that more in a different video. But other than that, uh, it's a cleaner look. So when you go to your homepage, here's the new homepage, here's the old, old homepage. So when you go to the new homepage, you get this little snapshot of your profile, which is very similar to the what your uh, profile looks like on the mobile app. So you've got that. It's just basically your background image or a version of it, um, your picture, your name, your professional headline, who's viewed your profile, and who's viewed and, and engaged on your article. So that's kind of nice. Um, here on the old profile is where you can see who's viewed your profile. And you can also see who's um, viewed and commented on your posts or your articles. So that is there, was here, is now there. Um, the share an article photo or update is on one line and the publish an article is on a second line as compared to share an update and upload a photo, which were actually both still updates and then write an article was over here. I think this is going to confuse some people because it looks like it's the same uh, same feature, but it's not. This is share an update up here. This is and then let's go ahead and cancel that. Um, and then, you know, to post an actual, publish an article is right there. And that actually takes you into a whole new feature, uh, which is the publisher app, which has the same, you know, deep blue or deep teal uh, head, header image there, menu image. Okay, so um, that is this section. What used to be this is now that. The... Um, the timeline looks pretty similar to the old timeline. I haven't noticed too much different there. So that at least is pretty much the same. So that is the homepage for you. Um, just, I'm gonna briefly go over some of these other menu items, but I wanna take a deep dive into the me section, which, which, is, which was the old profile, um, as well as into the search feature in uh, later videos and later blog posts. So to, to quickly um, take a look again at the differences, the home screen, you know, the icon is different, uh, or you can just click on the blue in, that's the same. Um, as far as profile, you used to have edit profile, who's viewed my profile and your updates. Now the profile section, is view profile, which is also edit profile. So view and edit is actually the same thing. Um, but this is now where your privacy, your help settings are, as well as managing your premium account. That on the old user interface, scoot that over, that on the old user interface was under the picture of you, but it didn't say me. So you'll notice some of the things from there have switched over into the me <laughs> over here and the actual profile page is gone. Now who's viewed your profile? 
that's again over here. There's not five different ways of getting there. And your updates, same thing, are right here. So that's here and there now. So that's one thing. Um, my network, you'll notice the old My Network had connections, add contacts, people you may know, and alumni. Now My Network shows you all your connections. They're here, so you can go to see all to see your connections there. One of the things you'll notice that I'm very sad about, no more tagging. So the tagging is gone. You can send a message or you can block the person, and that is it. Also, your sorting, since tagging is gone, you now can only sort by recently added first name and last name. So that is really, I think, kind of unfortunate. Tagging is one of my favorite things on LinkedIn. In fact, that was what my last blog post was about. And now it's gone. Um, right now, duck soup for tagging isn't working, but hopefully they'll, they'll get that working with the new user interface. You'll also see your invitations here, so you can accept or ignore them. Um, and hopefully with the customized invitations, that will be a little clearer. Um, I don't believe any of these are customized. And of course, the people you may know. And then you can click on Grow Your Network, which will allow you to import your email list, um, send an email to invite someone, uh, or upload a file. So that was found over here before. Uh, so now this add contacts is back in the My Network section, kind of hidden a little bit over here on the left-hand side. So that's the main difference. Alumni, if you want to find your alumni, <laughs> you now have to go into the search. So that's, that's a big difference right there. Um, thankfully, the inbox is pretty much the exact same on both sides. So you've got your inbox there, you've got your messaging here. That's really the only difference is one says inbox, one says messaging, and the icon's a little bit different. But uh, pretty much you've got the same feature as it used to be, so that hasn't changed too much. Um, one thing I do like with the notifications, so notifications is a bell now instead of a flag, but the notifications get their own page. So it's a lot easier to see um, your notifications and I think to respond to your notifications. So I believe you're probably gonna get more activity now and more opportunities for engagement with this new notifications um, icon and mainly the page is just easier to deal with than just the drop down that we had before. I, I was, it was just, yeah, see, that would happen. It would just disappear. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of the new notifications. The jobs is similar. Um, the, they changed the UI a little while back. So you'll notice that the jobs, um, the old jobs and the new jobs look very, very similar. Uh, so I do like, you know, I do like um, the new jobs. The search, you know, is pretty easy. Posting a job is pretty easy. You can see where your saved jobs are. So that's that's good. You don't have this Discover tab and preferences anymore, um, but it's still really easy to search for a job with the new user interface. So that's, that's not too different. Um, we've lost the education button, but if you come over here to more, you now have your education both in learning and uh, coming down here, oh, it's not down here, it was in the other one. Um, so you still have your education in the learning section. And of course, if you're looking for a school, then you can go to search. And once you activate a search on LinkedIn, you can look at schools there as well. Now, a couple different changes when you look at other people's profiles. Obviously, the background image is a little bit different. And again, I'll talk about that in a different video. Um, the contact information is now over here on the right-hand side. And it's kind of a bummer because the websites that used to, used to be able to customize it, so what you saw was this call to action and then uh, um, the, the actual URL was hidden. Now you see the long, awkward URLs and in quotation marks, you see the call to action, which I'm not so much of a fan of. Um, and then the rest of the contact info is still over here on the right-hand side. So that's a little unfortunate when you're viewing somebody else's profile. 
If you want to share a profile, remove a connection, block or report someone or unfollow someone or request a recommendation, thank goodness they didn't get rid of recommendations, or recommend someone, that is all up here in the top right-hand side, these three little dots. So that's similar to uh, the LinkedIn mobile app as well. Of course, messaging people is just in the middle. Um, posts are still there. I kind of like that you have the posts on the left-hand side and the um, and the updates on the right-hand side. So that's a little bit new, putting those all in one place. Whereas before, you know, if you went to someone's profile, I'll reciprocate by looking at Kate's profile. <laughs> you know, there the the three posts would show up at the top, and you wouldn't see their activity at all. Um, so it's nice for people who post, but for people who are just updating, they weren't getting any love. So now they get a little bit more love um, on the new UI. There's some highlights, uh, groups that you share, um, common connections that you have. I really like this. This was the in common section over here on the right hand side. This is awkward to me. Um, I much prefer the highlight section here. Um, you know, experience uh, still looks pretty much the same. Education looks the same. Um, endorsements, and of course you can endorse people over here as well, so that's nice. Um, your recommendations are in there, accomplishments. What I don't like with the new user interface is you can't move these around. You know, you used to be able to move them around in your profile, you can't anymore. Like recommendations is staying there, accomplishments is staying down here, and there's nothing I can do about it. So there's a, there's a, a little less um, dynamic activity in people's uh, LinkedIn profiles. But again, I'll talk a lot more about the profiles and what the big changes are in the profiles in an upcoming video. So this is the big changes on LinkedIn, what it used to be, what it is now, and what that means to you. And this is Vivica Von Rosen with LinkedIn to Business.